Hello everyone, welcome back to Makoto Mobius. So I've loaded the save where I haven't actually done anything. This is the save immediately after I enter the house. So I'm literally just going to leave. Makoto? You're still awake? Oh, so you were waiting for me. I just finished work. Sorry for being so late. Thank you, Makoto. It's been rough on me lately. Things haven't been going well at work. They got mad at me during editing. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't be complaining so much. That's why mom got fed up after all. You're on my side, right, Makoto? You wouldn't leave me and go off somewhere like mom did, right? Uh-oh. I'm on your side. I won't go anywhere. I'll stay with you. Makoto. Whoa! Dude, that's your door! Hey, Makoto. If I told you I wanted to die, would you die with me? Huh? See, it's gotten pretty hard to keep on living. I feel like I want to just end it all. And you're asking your daughter to join you in a suicide pact? What the hell kind of parent are you? But I'm worried about leaving you alone in a world like this. Am I just watching through the window or something? So, Makoto. Please die with me. <gasps> oh my god! This is what really happened? Ha. <laughs> ha. Don't worry, Makoto. I'm next. Now I'll... I can't. You bloody horrible coward. Makoto, I can't. I just can't do it. Oh my god, did he stab her? I'm too scared to kill myself. There's no way I can do it. Arg Makoto Makoto had died. She'd been forced into a double suicide by her own father. Just what had her life been like for her to have died like that? Well, her dad did it. I mean, if she'd committed suicide, that would be one thing. Would I be better off dead? Why did she ask me that? Severe depression. I wasn't a friend or a family member. I was just her classmate. Once she never really spoke to it that, yet she asked me. Maybe she wanted an impartial opinion. Makoto's the kind of girl who wouldn't ask for help, even if she really wanted it. Makoto? Might have wanted me to help her. Exactly because I was neither friend nor family. Exactly because I was just a classmate. Perhaps that fact is the reason she was able to say those words at all. Makoto! Wait, what? Has the loop begun again? Wataru? I... Uh, don't die. I wonder why. Why did I say what I did to someone like you? Maybe I wanted you to help me. 
couldn't tell anyone else, and I didn't want people to know. So I just chose you, the guy who sat next to me. I didn't even believe you'd come. Hey, it's strange, isn't it? I... I don't have a future beyond this point. It's just been looping countless times. I can never escape from this. I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm just stuck in fate's loop. By the time I realise it, it's morning again. Hataru, I have to go. Let's see each other again today. Thank you. Goodbye. Bad end one, I was watching. So now we know what happened. Like her dad actually killed her. All because we never investigate. So let's see what else changes when we don't investigate. A kitchen knife. You got a kitchen knife. Doo -doo -doo. Well, now that we know that Makoto's dad's gonna kill her, let's kill him! And then Makoto doesn't have to die. This is the smart solution. Makoto's dad. He's taking a nap. Kill him. Stab, 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 stab. The 24th. Did I break the loop? Makoto hadn't died. Score one for me. She had been saved. I killed her father and saved her. Makoto cried her eyes out every day after that, but after a while, she slowly began returning to normal. This seems too cheerful. Oh, no. How long? Oh, she cut her hair too. Has it been? I made everyone worry about me. That includes you. Sorry about that. But, thanks for murdering my dad, I guess. <laughs> now that was a real surprise. Mikio is always so bubbly, but that day she cried so hard her eyes turned red. It kind of made me feel glad that I didn't die. Huh. Hmm. Hmm? You didn't fucking tell her, did you? You know... I've been thinking about it this whole time. That's how it is, huh? It was you, right? Uh-oh. Oh wow, that's a scary face. You're the person who killed my father. You came to my house that day, didn't you? Why did you do that? Uh... Explain? So you're saying that I was supposed to die that day, but my father did instead. I won't accept that. He didn't even do anything wrong. He was about to. That's the that's the part you're missing, Makoto. How did you think this would all end up? Honestly, I don't think my character thinks. I think he just does. And I knew it wasn't going to end well anyway. He kept working for my sake. It was hard on him, but he kept doing his best. How? Just how do you think I felt living the way I have for all this time? I... I was all my father had. And likewise, my father was all I had. 
We were both saving each other. Yeah, up until the point where he tried to initiate a, mur a, a double suicide and, you know, killed you. You don't... you don't get it. There's no way you could understand anything. You didn't save me by doing this. Even if you save my life, you can't save my heart. If my father died in my place that day, if only one person was supposed to die on that day, then... That day, the one who died was my father. And today, the one who dies will be me. Makoto killed herself. She took her own life of her own free will. Who can? If this world was really such a painful, hellish place to live for, eh, in for them. Maybe this was all for the best. <laughs> I don't think that it is. Bad end to dependence. There's a stove. Yeah, let's turn on the gas. See if I can. No, he won't let me. Some curry in the pot. I wonder if Makoto made it. So refrigerator, bunch of containers. Maybe if I wake up Makoto. Doesn't. What if I kill Makoto? I know that's not what I'm meant to be doing, but hey, let's find out. Experimentation is key. Makoto! Makoto is asleep. Get a closer look at her sleeping face. Yeah, this is where it ends horribly, isn't it? Did I kill her? Oh, she's pretty. Hi. Wataru? You came to save me again? I'm glad. Wataru? Wataru, I love... This beautiful girl's heart had been stabbed with a knife because I'm stupid. I did it. It was me! If she was hopelessly destined to die, if she couldn't escape her cruel fate, then the very least I could do was ease her suffering with my own hand. Of course! That makes sense. It makes no sense. This is good. Thank you. I'm sure this was my fate. Pow! Pow? Pow! Something hit my head quite hard. I dropped to the floor. I bet you it was her dad. Her dad saw me kill her. Fufu. Wataru. Why? Why did it turn out like this? Mako belongs to me. You can't go doing something like this without my permission. Mako has to live. I won't accept a future where she doesn't live. I don't care if her father, you, or even I end up as the victim. Go do it one more time. I want to let it end like this. It's unforgivable. Wait for me, Mako. I'll change it. I'll change your fate. <laughs> With the next Mobius, I'll kill you off right at the start. What? Mobius, I beg of you. Mobius, I beg of you. Mobius, I beg of you. If 
That ain't five. Punishment for resignation. <laughs> okay then. Hmm. Hello, hello, phone. Call Miko. Yeah, sure. Hello. Hello? Oh, Wataru. What's up? Look how late it is. I think Makoto might die. Huh? Mako? Is that true? Yep. Oh no, what should we do, Wataru? Isn't there some way we can save Mako? You know how, don't you? Come on and tell me. Someone has to take her place. Hmm. Okay. Okay, then, so if I die, Mako will be saved. Um, that's not quite what I meant. I got it. Thanks, Wataru. Uh, I... Well, she did say she didn't mind if she died, as long as Mako lives. I don't think Mako's going to be okay with us, though. Anyway, Mikio died that night. It was a suicide. Mikio has passed away. Mikio took her own life to save Makoto's. She's not going to be happy. Probably going to yell at me. Ugh. Why? Why did Mikio... Why did she kill herself? Makoto had become her replacement. I mean, Mikio had become her replacement. That's all there was to it. If fate says that Makoto should die today, it's fine if someone else dies in her place. That way the world can stay in balance and Makoto's life can be saved. Aha. Uh -huh. She's not going to be happy when she finds out, you know that? Like, we saw what happened when she found out that we were the one behind the knife that killed her dad. Wataru? Do you know something? Why did Mikio have to die? You really want to say this? You really want to tell her this? Are you sure about that? You're a fucking moron! I don't get it. What are you talking about? Are you saying I was supposed to die? You're saying that Mikio died instead of me. <laughs> so this is the reality where I don't die. Where Mikio does just to make the numbers match? I, I don't want that kind of reality. Damn it, why did it turn out this way? No, Mikio. And yet, Makoto had been saved. Saved by exchanging Mikio's life for hers. Bad and free, Mikio's desired future. Hmm. Oh. I was wondering why I was taking so long. Did you think it would end just like that? Well, I was wondering why I was taking a while. There's no way I'll accept this. Except my best friend's death. Kind of figured you wouldn't. Wataru. You did this. You tempted her into doing this. If this world is going to repeat itself too. That must mean there's more than one of you floating around. So it's alright if one of you dies. See, I told you you shouldn't have told her. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. 
Bad and free. Unforgivable. <laughs> okay, then. That's more like it. So, Mikul has to live. Her dad has to live. Mikio has to live. So who else could die? How about the person who doesn't really give a crap? A.K.A. my character. This is not really a kind of game that I'm kind of, uh, supporting here. Let's take the knife. And then what I probably have to do is I have to make it so that I feel sorry for her. Or at least learn the rules. So let me just ha do a little bit of reading. Nope, won't let me do reading now that I have a knife. Makoto's diary, read it. Yep, sure, right. Excuse me one minute, I got a diary to read. So all the clues that we've been given say that I'm not particularly happy with my life either. And equally, equally, nobody seems to care if I live or not. Plus, we already know that if the, if the loop will be broken if the person who initiated the curse dies. So, really, this is the only option left, isn't it? How do I kill myself? I, I don't know how. How does one kill herself? Let's try leaving. I left the house. I had realised it. If fate says that Makoto should die today, it's fine if someone else dies in her place. That way the world can stay in balance and Makoto's life can be saved. It was a simple idea. One person has to die. Therefore, if I and irregularity disappear, then this nightmare will be over. Makoto won't die, and neither will her dad. Mikio will survive as well. I'll just fade away without Makoto or Mikio knowing. This might not even be the right answer, but there's only one way to find out. I looked at the kitchen knife I was gripping. And just like that, you and I were the same. Today will end and tomorrow will finally come for you. You've been released from fate's loop. Nothing will tie down your life anymore. You should live. True end, classmate. That's it. I guess that was it. So yeah, Makoto Mobi is a time loop where somebody has to die each time. There is no way around it. You can't avoid a, it make a story where no one does. I mean, yeah, it's a bit of puzzle solving, but I don't really know. I mean, you know me, I do like games and such where the idea is you can fight fate. Nothing is written in stone. So this kind of goes against that idea. But equally, I do have a problem with suicide. And this kind of ties to my own history with depression. Like... I don't believe it's an answer. I don't believe it can ever be an answer. So, I'm kind of really uncomfortable with this, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> but I'm very uncomfortable with the whole story, to be perfectly honest. Like, oh, an eco shower in game? Sure, let's play with a girl who's utterly batshit and saying love with you. But this? I don't know. I mean, it raises questions. People could talk about it, I suppose. But... I don't know how to feel about this. I don't feel good. I feel that Mikio is a bit of a bitch, to put it mildly. Like, she's like, hey, random classmate, nobody cares about you. Go save my best friend. We getting a post credits? 
Wataru has passed away. The truth of the incident had vanished into darkness. That was all the teacher would tell me. I don't really care. I don't care that the classmate who sat next to me has died. Even though he had disappeared? It's not like we were related in any way. I don't feel anything whatsoever. I'm not even sad. I didn't have a single connection to him. He was just the person who coincidentally sat next to me. Everything would be the same even without him. The same quiet everyday life. He was gone but my life would go on. Hmm. That seems like a bookend. Or maybe a pattern beginning again? I don't know. Well, good to see how Makoto herself feels about it. Good show, game. Good show. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of Elle plays a Nico Sharon game and has no idea how to feel about it afterwards. So if you enjoyed it, please let me know by liking or commenting and subscribe if you haven't already seen more episodes. If you think, can think of any other RPG Maker games that you'd like me to do, please let me know as well in the comments. I'll have a look at them and if it's something I'd be interested in, I'll do it. But as always... I've been Webber Cell, and until next time, guys, take care of yourselves. I'll see you then. Bye!